Hey there, I'm going to review this uh, cool little speedometer called Sanding SD563A. Uh, I ordered this from Banggood and uh, let's see. So this is the, the speedometer, it's quite large, it has a large screen, which I like. And uh, in the the most important things are, are shown here. So the, the top is the average speed when you're riding. This will be the current speed. The, the second one is the time. It shows the time. The third one, it cycles from a time management, time measured. Um, so this, the smaller number, cut. The third line shows, uh, like now, the total time you you are riding since the last restart, last reset, and uh, the TTM shows the total time since your last reset. Not only the riding, uh, even when the bike was uh, hanging around on the wall or the ground, <laughs> uh, and uh, and the last row shows the distance you traveled since the last reset. If you hit once, then it will cycle the top to the average speed, that the current speed will, will change to the average speed. And this is the second. The time remains there. It's time up and trip up. I don't really know how to set up these and never use them. And the, the third screen is the max speed, the temperature, which is not so accurate, the red, which is probably the time since you started the season or made the way or, or made the the big reset and the auto which is the distance you traveled since the start of the season or your when you made the big reset and uh, this is all the material is this plastic and a little bit heavy i i think it uh, uses maybe two batteries, not so not so pricey batteries. So you can you can change it as as you see here is a blinking icon which shows that I probably have to change the battery in a few months. And uh, it has uh, two icons. First of all, first of uh, this is the. It has two icons which uh, helps you with uh, maintaining the your bike. This one shows that uh, I probably ride more than ten or uh, two or three hundred hundreds of me of kilometers, and uh, I have to check the bike. Probably the cut. This icon shows that. Uh, I ride more more than uh, 300 of kilometers, so I have to check the measure the the chain. And there is also another. Oh fuck! And this icon shows that I have to loop the chain because I ride more than uh, two or three hundred of kilometers. If you want to, when you when you get this uh, speedometer, you have to make some, uh, have to set up, and to do this, you have to uh, push the right button for five seconds. After this, it will enter to the setup. Here you see blinking the C button, which which you can uh, change the temperature to show in Celsius or uh, Fahrenheit. I use. Celsius. Then the second one is the time to 24 or 12 hour. Then you can change the time. You can change the. Okay, and this this uh, detail or setup is important because uh, now here you can uh, you have to adjust the uh, the values regarding to the size of your tire, and you can you get a chart like this. Okay, so here is the chart and uh, you have to find your your tire size and uh, measure this north measure 
uh, enter this uh, four digit value yeah and if you are inactive then it exits from the setup so you have to push again yeah next 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 so here you can add the the value from here the four digits you can adjust the auto or reset here if you start a new season reset the rat and that's all so if you are interested i can show you what's in a, in a new box or how so you get like this, it's quite nice and clean and so you get the instructions, the magnet, some zip ties if you have one got and the the head unit or not the head unit the the support unit which goes to the handlebar and on the fork like this this is all you get and um, this is a super a super budget speedometer i really like it because the big screen and the low price and the quite okay quality the only downside is that the uh, okay, this is also the new one. The downside is that the max speed is sometimes goes crazy and it shows values like 80 or 90 kilometers per hour. But this only on on uh, hard terrain and on, on trails or when you make jumps and drops and all, all stuff. So yeah, I, I think I I can uh, recommend this for to everyone. Who is looking for a budget speedometer uh, which has a quite large screen which is rare in this uh, price range okay i just wanted to show you how the how the speedo works so now the speed is like four kilometer per hour and if you press it once show the average speed press it again show the max speed and the stuff press it again after four press you are going back to the first screen if you want to reset like you are uh, starting a new trip or press and hold left button for three seconds or so reset that time distance everything's reset average speed reset max speed reset I'm going for a turn the wheel now max speed is eight current speed is seven and every speed is seven uh, okay and uh, if you want to hide this icon you have to press both of left and the uh, center icon icons for i don't know five seconds maybe and it will disappear mm, no again Maybe a little bit more, 10 seconds. Okay, this is tricky. <clears throat> don't want to, don't want to reset. But I think I'm holding both of the buttons. Maybe I really have to leave my, my chain, it says. Okay, I managed to hide this uh, icon but in the instruction was uh, was a, a mistake you have to press the center and the right button at the same time and it will disappear without problem i forgot to say that the speedo also has a has a timer which is which is really cool if you want if you are alone and want to race against yourself you have to uh, push the right button once from the main screen uh, and here is the stopwatch 
if you hit the left button nothing happens okay okay I'm confused a little bit so okay so the left button starts and stops the, the timer the right button resets the timer and the center button does nothing just disappear the, the timer So now if you push it, start the timer, push it again, press it again, stop the timer and press the right button, resets the timer. Okay, and another feature is that if uh, you hit the left button just for a f half of the second or the tenth, it uh, freeze the, freezes the screen start to blink and show some uh, information for you not sure why is this good but it's also a feature another important thing which is, is good to know that uh, you probably will need uh, some extra layers here you can see this white white layer these are double sided um, double sided uh, tape Yes, these are double sided tape because uh, the distance between the. Not sure if you can see. The distance between the, the magnet and the receiver is quite great. So uh, you have to adjust a little bit. Probably on a road bike, this won't be a problem. But uh, on a mountain bike with a wider forks like this 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 probably would need some uh, DEI project i just want to mention this